Hello again. This will be a video on my most recent pleasure book that I read over the summer before school began just a week ago. This book is called Marie Antoinette by Antonia Fraser. I wanted to read this book because Marie Antoinette has always interested me. She's probably one of my favorite historical women characters in society. And I'll start out by reading a summary because this will be better than me talking about it at the beginning. France's iconic queen, Marie Antoinette, wrongly accused of uttering the infamous let them eat cake, was al alternately revered and reviled during her lifetime. For centuries since, she has been the object of debate, speculation, and the fascination so often accorded illustrious figures in history. Married in mere girlhood, this essentially light-hearted child was thrust onto the royal stage and commanded by circumstance to play a significant role in European history. Antonia Fraser's lavish and engaging portrait excites compassion and regard for all aspects of the queen, immersing the reader not only in the coming of age of a graceful woman, but in the culture of an unparalleled time and place. So yeah, as the beginning states, she never did say those infamous words of let them eat cake. Antonia Fraser states in the book that that, those, that sentence was actually used centuries before she was even born by some Spanish princesses and some other people, but not her. And I'll show you a little bit of pictures. This book actually has a lot of really um, picturesque colored pictures, which I really, really like. It has important pictures like where she lived. Here's the mom of Marie Antoinette and here's the father of Marie Antoinette, both of Austria. Here's Marie Antoinette here, very beautiful. Here's a little description, Marie Antoinette at age 12 or 13. Here are some of her, actually all her brothers and then here's the mom in black of course when the king died. She decided to mourn his death forever as was a custom I think centuries ago to wear black. And what I love about this book is not only is it a biography about Marie Antoinette, it also has a lot of information about um, anyone she knew. It had a little bit of information about the king, the mom, her brothers, her friends, anyone of that sort. It had a little biography about them, which you got to know more information about other people and not just her. As you can see here, this book is really, it wasn't um, made very good. About 60 of my pages are actually falling out of the book. And so, I wasn't happy about that. But the book itself, of course, was very, very good. Here's another um, picture of Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette's youthful education under teachers, who included Gluck, led to a lifelong love of music in all its forms. Gluck, you'll figure out who he is in here. A composer. And yeah, there's just a lot of talk about lots of different things. Like, she was a scapegoat by many of the French common people. The French common people, the common man, thought that she was, uh, she was to blame for the French Revolution. All the problems that France had, she was to blame. And basically, yeah, she was a scapegoat. And lots of lies were always said about her. Lots of newspaper lies were said about her in pamphlets that would always describe her as somewhat of a lesbian, licentious woman, which those, of course, were false. And yeah, it even had, before the French Revolution, there were many different attempts for, for her and her family to escape France to be safe and secure from the French people who could, who could possibly kill her, or worse. And of course, they all failed or didn't transpire. This book, I would say, has to be one of my favorite biographies of anyone. Antonia Fraser did a real good job of detailing all these different evidence and facts about her, even to the smallest details of having, of listing her favorite flowers, her favorite colors, and it's very, very good. Another thing is this is a pretty challenging read. I would say only high schoolers and above should read this book. I've bracketed, highlight, not highlight, but I bracketed, underlined, Parenthesize these certain um, sentences that I thought were very 
interesting, very important. I had to define many words because on every page, at least one word was something I never heard or seen before. So I had to define them. So it's a pretty challenging read, but very good read at the same time. If I had to rate this book, I would give it like 5 out of 5 stars. It is almost near perfect to me. Oh my gosh, my book is really falling apart. It's really unfortunate that this book had to, f had to fall apart because I love the book so much. I love the pictures to the pictures that add to the book. It makes it even better. It even talks about who painted Marie Antoinette. It has her name listed. Here's her children. Of course, another thing I have to mention. The first half of this book is kind of happy. But the second half is the opposite. It's actually sad. Basically, the second half of this book, Marie Antoinette and her family had to live like a prisoner in certain palaces and eventually in actual prisons. I don't want to tell all the story away. I want you to read it yourself. But it's pretty sad. And it's just, it's, what makes it even more sad is all these lies that were said about her never were true. And, oh yeah, I, I don't want to give away the end. Really sad. I just can't give it away though because I would be spoiling everything. But here's a picture of the king, the husband of Marie Antoinette, King Louis the Sixteenth. Love this. I love the always, always love the apparel, the clothes that the royal royalty wore. Very beautiful. And here's a picture of a, I guess, an angry French mob approaching Marie Antoinette. Here's some photos that would demonize Marie Antoinette. Like this is her, of her a harpy. Let's read about it. It says, a cartoon of Marie Antoinette as a harp tearing up the Declaration of the Rights of Man with her claws. See this? This doesn't even show Marie Antoinette as being human, only part human. All to demonize her. Again, one of my favorite reads of all time. I would definitely read it again if I had more time, but there's so many more historical books that I want to read. But this was definitely going, good, going into my library. I won't be giving this away. And it's a really good read. Looks like it's $18 US money, US currency. And I recommend everyone to read this book. If you love royalty, if you love kings and queens, if you love French history, if you love history in general like me. And as it says, it's a national bestseller. But you should read this. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, leave in the comments and I will sure to answer them on my spare time. Thank you. Bye-bye.